Hi there, we are about to make this coaster. Let's dive in. Get started by deleting everything and add a new cylinder. Click on the bottom left corner for the details and I'm going to set the vertices to 6. This way we get a hexagon. Also, I want to reduce the radius and depth. There we go. Zoom in. This will be the base of the coaster. Let's switch to edit mode. Next, I would like to make a rim, so I'm going to extrude these vertices and scale them down a bit. Okay. It's up to you how big it's going to be. I'm okay with this size. If you're ready, select these phases for the rim. I'm going to extrude these phases, by the way. This one, that, and the last one. I'm going to move up a bit on the Z axis. Okay, I'm good with this. Now I need to import the SVG image. The format is really important, so try to download your image in the proper format. I'm hiding this coaster now and let's take a look at the logo. As you can see I imported the image and I got a collection of curves. Every letter and item in the logo has its own curve, but I need meshes. Right click and convert the mesh, it's that simple. Now I want to cut out this triangle from the red rectangle. That's why I extruded these vertices. Move down a bit. And I am going to add a boolean modifier. For the object I'm going to select the triangle. Click on apply when you're ready. I deleted the triangle and as you can see there's a triangle shape falling. No further modifications needed for the logo so I'm going to merge the meshes into one. Switch to edit mode and select all. Extrude on the Z axis. This way we gave the logo its thickness. Okay, now I'm going to position the logo at the center of the coaster something like this let's make it a bit smaller and the last thing to check is how the two objects intersect And now I'm going to use the boolean modifier again. Selecting the logo for the object and if you hide the logo you can see the difference of the two overlapping meshes. This way you can check the results as I do. Now you can delete this logo, we don't need it anymore. Super, almost done. The next step is optional, so if you're satisfied enough your results, you can skip this part. First I will add plane axis. And after that, I add a new cube and position it on the rim. Now I set the origin of this cube to the 3D cursor. Let's add the new array modifier for the cube. Try to copy my settings. For the next move we are going to need the dimensions of the cube. Change the scale numbers as well with the exact same numbers. 
Now, when we rotate the axis on the z-axis, we get multiple cubes, but they are only the clones of the first cube. So, when I added the main cube, all the other cubes will change. Let's make an arrow from it. When you're ready, apply the modifier. Boolean modifier again, select the arrows and apply. You can delete the arrows now and you have the final model. Export it and let's start printing. I usually use Cura for slicing. These are my basic settings, you can check on the right. Nothing really special, maybe the only thing I would recommend to turn on ironing. This is a pretty cool feature, by the way. And this is my final print. Hopefully this video helped you in a way. If you have any questions or thoughts, please share me it at the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.